For years, fans of Counting Cars have been left with one burning question. What happened? Why did the show suddenly vanish? Today, we finally have answers. Ryan Evans, the creative genius behind Counts Customs, has finally broken his silence. And you won't believe what he has to say. Counting Cars wasn't just any reality TV show. It was a fan favorite, bringing viewers behind the scenes at Counts Customs, a Las Vegas shop where ordinary cars were transformed into masterpieces. Ryan Evans was at the heart of it all. He wasn't just a guy who painted cars. He was the creative force who turned Danny the Count Coker's wild ideas into jaw-dropping reality. Fans tuned in each week to see Ryan's custom designs, whether it was a sleek muscle car or a tricked-out hot rod. But after the 10th season, something strange happened. The show went silent. There were no new episodes, and Ryan, who had become a fan favorite, wasn't seen on screen anymore. Questions started swirling. Was the show canceled? Did Ryan leave? Was there drama behind the scenes that nobody knew about? Well, we've got answers. After years of silence, Ryan Evans is finally ready to share what really happened, and it's not what you might think. If you've been wondering why Counting Cars suddenly vanished and why Ryan wasn't on the show anymore, stick around. We're about to dive into the real story behind the cancellation and Ryan's side of the story. But first, let's take a step back and see how Ryan became the star of the show in the first place. Ryan Evans, from humble beginnings to custom car genius. Ryan Evans wasn't always a famous car artist. In fact, his journey began in a pretty unexpected place, Frankfurt, Germany, where he was born in 1974. Even as a kid, Ryan loved motorcycles. He saw them as more than just machines. To him, they were works of art. I always saw bikes as canvases on two wheels, Ryan once said. He began airbrushing designs in college, turning his passion into a skill. Fast forward a few years, and Ryan found himself in Las Vegas, painting bikes and building a reputation as a talented artist. His big break came in 2000, when he was introduced to Danny Coker by Shannon Acow, the bike shop manager at Count's Customs. Danny was blown away by Ryan's work and knew he had to bring him into the fold. From that moment, Ryan's life changed. He went from painting bikes to working on cars, a much bigger canvas for his art. Ryan has this unique ability to bring cars to life through paint, Danny once said. As Ryan's role grew at Count's Customs, so did his reputation. He quickly became a key member of the team, trusted with some of the shop's most important projects. But as Ryan's star rose, so did the pressures of the job. With more projects coming in, deadlines getting tighter, and the TV cameras always rolling, things were about to get intense. So how did Ryan go from being a talented artist to one of the main faces of Counting Cars? Let's take a closer look. Becoming the Face of Counting Cars When Counting Cars first hit TV screens in 2012, Ryan Evans wasn't a household name. Yet. He was behind the scenes, working his magic on the cars and bikes that came through Counts Customs. But by the end of the third season, things started to change. Ryan's talent was impossible to ignore, and soon, he was a regular face on the show. One turning point was when Ryan won the shop's Employee of the Year title after a fun. Buggy race to win a 1975 Chevrolet Suburban. That moment didn't just make him a fan favorite. It solidified his place as one of the shop's stars. From then on, Ryan wasn't just the guy behind the paint. He was front and center, showcasing his skills on some of the most iconic builds. Season after season, Ryan became more involved, taking on bigger and more challenging projects. From wild custom designs to period-correct restorations, fans loved watching Ryan in action. He brought an artistic flair to the show that set it apart from other car-themed reality series. Ryan's creativity is off the charts. Danny said in one episode. He takes an idea and turns it into something extraordinary. But with the spotlight came pressure. The demands of working on TV, tight deadlines and constant expectations started to build. After years of speculation, Ryan finally opens up about the real reason behind his disappearance. And it's not what most fans expected. In a recent interview, Ryan revealed that his absence wasn't due to any drama or personal conflict. It turns out that Ryan took some time off to focus on other projects outside of car restoration. I needed a break, Ryan admitted. After so many years of non-stop work, I wanted to explore some other creative outlets. During his time away from counting cars, Ryan worked on a variety of projects, 
including non-automotive art, sculptures, and even furniture designs. Ryan also mentioned that the pressure of working on a reality show took its toll. It's a high-stress environment, he explained. You've got deadlines, you've got cameras on you, and you've got to make everything look perfect. After a while, it gets exhausting. Despite stepping back from the show, Ryan reassured fans that he never left Count's Customs. He's still part of the team, still creating incredible custom designs, just off camera. I love what I do, and I'm still doing it, Ryan said. But sometimes you need to step back and recharge. So, while fans may have missed seeing Ryan on their screens, he never really left the shop. But what does the future hold for Ryan and counting cars? Could we see a comeback? Let's wrap things up with a look at what might be next for both the show and Ryan Evans, Danny Coker's role and the pressure of success. Danny Coker, the man behind Count's Customs, played a major role in both the success of Counting Cars and Ryan Evans' rise to fame. Known for his larger-than-life personality, Danny trusted Ryan with many of the shop's most important projects. When it comes to the artwork, I let Ryan do his thing, Danny often said. He's the best in the business. But as the show grew in popularity, so did the pressure. With tighter deadlines and more ambitious builds, the workload was intense. Ryan wasn't just painting cars, he was doing it all under the scrutiny of a camera crew and millions of viewers. And for Danny, balancing the demands of running the shop and being the face of the show meant constantly pushing the team to their limits. Behind the scenes, the stress started to pile up. Although Danny and Ryan maintained a close working relationship, the pressure to constantly outdo themselves took a toll. Ryan once mentioned, People don't realize how much goes into making the show. It's not just about fixing up cars, it's about doing it while the clock is ticking. The mounting pressure and relentless pace may have contributed to Ryan's decision to step back. As the face of Count's Customs, Danny had to keep pushing the shop forward, but Ryan's absence left a noticeable gap. What was Danny's reaction to Ryan stepping away? And did this affect their relationship? Let's dive into what happened behind the scenes. The Rumors was Ryan fired? When Ryan Evans began disappearing from episodes, rumors spread quickly. Fans speculated that he had been fired from counting cars due to conflicts with Danny or the show's producers. The internet was buzzing with wild theories. Some claimed Ryan and Danny had a falling out, while others thought Ryan was unhappy with how the show was run. One of the most common rumors was that Ryan had been fired for missing deadlines or underperforming on big projects. There's no way someone as talented as Ryan just walks away, one fan posted on Reddit. He must have been let go. But there was never any official statement from the show, and both Ryan and Danny remained silent on the matter, fueling more speculation. Some fans believed Ryan was unhappy with the direction the show was taking, possibly clashing with producers over creative decisions. Others thought Ryan was simply burned out. After years of constant work, the pressures of reality TV and tight schedules may have caught up with him. But Ryan, in his recent interview, cleared up the rumors. I wasn't fired. I didn't leave because of any bad blood with Danny, Ryan explained. I just needed a break. The show is demanding, and sometimes you have to take a step back for your own health. So, while the rumors flew, the truth was much simpler. Ryan wasn't fired. He chose to step back on his own terms. But how did this decision affect the future of counting cars? Let's see what the future holds. The impact on counting cars. What happened next? Ryan Evans was a key part of counting cars, so his absence didn't go unnoticed by fans. Once it became clear that Ryan wasn't going to be in every episode, viewers began to wonder what that meant for the show's future. Counting cars had always been about more than just cars. It was about the personalities behind the builds, and Ryan was a big part of that dynamic. The show continued to air without Ryan in some episodes, but fans felt the difference. Many took to social media to express their disappointment. Without Ryan, it just doesn't feel the same, one fan tweeted. He brought something unique to the show, and it's just not as fun without him. The decline in Ryan's appearances also coincided with the show's 10th season being its last, at least for now. The COVID-19 pandemic halted production of many shows, including Counting Cars, and there's been no official word on whether or not it will return. Fans have been left in limbo, wondering if the show has been quietly cancelled 
or if it's just on a long hiatus. Ryan's departure certainly played a role in the show's changing dynamic, and without him, the show lost some of its creative spark. But what has Ryan been up to since stepping back? Is he still involved in car customization, or has he moved on to new projects? Let's take a look at Ryan's life after counting cars. Ryan's new projects and life beyond counting cars. After stepping back from counting cars, Ryan Evans didn't leave the world of custom cars behind. In fact, he stayed busy, just not in front of the camera. I never stopped working, Ryan explained. I just took on different kinds of projects. Ryan has continued to work at Counts Customs, but without the constant pressure of being on TV. He's also branched out, taking on non-automotive projects like custom art pieces and sculptures. I love cars, but I also love creating in other ways," Ryan said. One of his most recent projects involved a massive octopus sculpture, showing that his creativity goes far beyond just cars and bikes. On social media, Ryan has shared glimpses of his life post-counting cars. He's still involved in car shows and events, connecting with fans and showcasing his latest work. It's been fun to explore different kinds of art, Ryan shared. I'm still at Counts Customs, but I'm doing things that inspire me in new ways. Fans have been happy to see Ryan continue his passion, even if it's not on TV every week. And while he hasn't completely ruled out a return to counting cars, for now, he seems content focusing on his new creative outlets. Despite his absence from TV, Ryan's presence in the car and art world remains as strong as ever. His fans, although missing him on screen, have been treated to glimpses of his new creations through his social media channels. But what about his return to counting cars? Could his creative journey bring him back to TV? That's where things get interesting. But with Ryan thriving off-screen, what's next for counting cars? Is there a chance for the show to return, or is this truly the end? Let's explore the possibilities. Fan Reactions and Speculation as Ryan began appearing less frequently on Counting Cars, fans didn't hold back their disappointment. Social media was flooded with questions like, where's Ryan? And is Counting Cars the same without him? On Reddit, fans speculated about everything from personal issues to conflicts behind the scenes. Some even wondered if Ryan had left Counts Customs altogether, fueling further rumors of a possible fallout between him and Danny Coker. Fans took to Twitter to express their thoughts, with one tweet summing it up. The show just isn't the same without Ryan. His custom designs made every build stand out. Without him, it feels like something's missing. The absence of Ryan left a noticeable gap in the dynamic that fans had come to love over the years. He wasn't just a painter. He was an integral part of what made Counting Cars feel like more than just another car show. Some fans believed his absence was temporary and hoped for a big return while others speculated that Ryan had left for good to focus on new ventures. Despite all the theories, neither Ryan nor the show made any official comments for months, leaving fans to wonder and debate. As the rumors grew, so did the desire for a concrete answer. And now, with Ryan breaking his silence, those fans are finally getting the truth they've been waiting for. The Cultural Impact of Counting Cars Counting Cars was more than just another reality TV show. It helped shape car culture and put custom car artistry in the spotlight. It showed viewers that restoring cars wasn't just about mechanics, it was about creativity, history, and passion. Ryan Evans played a pivotal role in this, transforming ordinary vehicles into extraordinary works of art and bringing a fresh perspective to car enthusiasts across the world. Beyond TV, Counting Cars influenced how people viewed car restoration as a form of art, not just repair. It gave rise to a whole new appreciation for custom work, pushing the boundaries of what a car could look like. Ryan's creative process was at the heart of that revolution, showing that artistry could be as crucial as horsepower in a great build. His influence on pop culture and custom car work is undeniable, and even though the show has been off-air, that legacy continues. With such a huge cultural impact, the question remains, could Counting Cars ever make a return? And if it did, would it still hold the same magic? Speculation on the future. Will Counting Cars return? Fans are still holding out hope that Counting Cars could make a comeback, and Ryan Evans could play a central role in its return. While there's been no official word on whether the show is truly gone for good, 
the fan base remains passionate and vocal about their desire to see more. With the long gap since the last season, speculation has run wild about what a new season might look like and whether Ryan could once again be front and center. Ryan hasn't ruled out a return to TV. I'm always open to new opportunities, he recently mentioned in an interview. You never know what the future holds. His words left the door open for fans to speculate about a possible reboot or even a new spin-off focused on his artistic endeavors. Could we see Ryan leading a new show about custom art projects beyond cars? The possibilities are endless. Danny Coker, meanwhile, continues his work at Count's Customs, but the absence of counting cars has been felt. Without the show, a piece of the shop's charm has been missing for fans, who still crave that behind-the-scenes look at the incredible builds and the unique personalities of the crew. We want the show back, one fan commented online. But we need Ryan back, too. He's what made counting cars so special. As of now, the future of the show is uncertain. But with both Ryan and Danny keeping busy with new projects, fans continue to dream about the day when counting cars could make a triumphant return. And if that day comes, one thing is clear. The magic of counting cars just wouldn't be the same without Ryan Evans at the heart of it all. Will Counting Cars Return? The Future of the Show The biggest question on fans' minds now is, will counting cars return? Since the end of the 10th season in 2021, there's been no official word from the History Channel about whether the show has been cancelled or just put on hold. The pandemic certainly impacted production, but the longer the silence continues, the more fans worry that counting cars may not come back. Ryan Evans hasn't ruled out a return to TV. I'm always open to new opportunities, he said. You never know what the future holds. And while Danny Coker has remained quiet on the matter, his passion for car customization hasn't slowed down. He continues to run Count's Customs and work on exciting new projects. For many fans, the hope is that Counting Cars will make a triumphant return, with Ryan back in the mix. We miss the show, one fan commented on social media. It's just not the same without seeing Ryan's incredible artwork every week. As of now, the future of Counting Cars remains uncertain, but the demand is definitely there. Fans are still passionate about the show and eager to see what's next for the Count's Customs crew. In the meantime, Ryan Evans continues to pursue his art, and while he stepped back from TV, his legacy on Counting Cars is undeniable. Whether the show returns or not, Ryan's contributions to the world of custom cars will always be remembered.